2 Samuel chapter 23. These are the last words of David, the son of Jesse. The God of Jacob chose David and made him a great king. The mighty God of Israel loved him. When God told him to speak, David said, The Spirit of the Lord has told me what to say. Our mighty rock, the God of Jacob, told me, A ruler who obeys God and does right is like the sunrise on a cloudless day, or like rain that sparkles on the grass. I have ruled this way, and God will never break his promise to me. God's promise is complete and unchanging. He will always help me and give me what I hope for. But evil people are pulled up like thorn bushes. They are not dug up by hand, but with a sharp spear and are burned on the spot. These are the names of David's warriors. Ishbosheth, the son of Hakman, was the leader of the three warriors. In one battle, he killed 800 men with his spear. The next one of the three warriors was Eliezer, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite. One time when the Philistines were at war with Israel, he and David dared the Philistines to fight them. Every one of the Israelite soldiers turned and ran except Eliezer. He killed Philistines until his hand was cramped, and he couldn't let go of his sword. When Eliezer finished, all the Israelite troops had to do was come back and take the enemy's weapons and armor. The Lord gave Israel a great victory that day. Next was Shammah, the son of Agi the Hararite. One time the Philistines brought their army together to destroy a crop of peas growing in a field near Lehi. The rest of Israel's soldiers ran away from the Philistines, but Shammah stood in the middle of the field and killed the Philistines. The crops were saved, and the Lord gave Israel a great victory. One year at harvest time, the three warriors went to meet David at Adullam Cave. The Philistine army had set up camp in Rephaim Valley and had taken over Bethlehem. David was in his fortress, and he was very thirsty. He said, I wish I had a drink from the well by the gate at Bethlehem. The three warriors sneaked into the Philistine camp and got some water from the well near Bethlehem's gate. But after they brought the water back to David, he refused to drink it. Instead, he poured it out as a sacrifice and said to the Lord, I can't drink this water. It's like the blood of these men who risked their lives to get it for me. The three warriors did these brave deeds. Joab's brother Abishai was the leader of the 30 warriors, and in one battle he killed 300 men with his spear. He was as famous as the three warriors, and certainly just as famous as the rest of the 30 warriors. He was the commander of the 30 warriors, but he still did not become one of the three warriors. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was a brave man from Kabzeel who did some amazing things. He killed two of Moab's best fighters, and on a snowy day he went down into a pit and killed a lion. Another time he killed an Egyptian as big as a giant. The Egyptian was armed with a spear, but Benaiah only had a club. Benaiah grabbed the spear from the Egyptian and killed him with it. Benaiah did these things. He never became one of the three warriors, but he was just as famous as they were, and certainly just as famous as the rest of the thirty warriors. David made him the leader of his bodyguard. Some of the thirty warriors were Asahel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo from Bethlehem, Shammah from Herod, Elika from Herod, Helaz the Paltite, Ira, the son of Ikesh from Tekoa, Abiezer from Anathoth, Mabunai the Hushathite, Zalman the Ahohite, Maharai from Natopha, Helab the son of Baana from Natopha, Ittai the son of Ribai from Gibeah of the tribe of Benjamin, Benaiah from Pirathon, Hidai from the streams of Mount Gaash, Abilbun from Betharaba, Asmaveth from Bahurim, Eliaba from Shaalbun, Jashan, Jonathan the son of Shammah the Hararite, Ahiam the son of Sharar the Hararite, 
Eliphalet, the son of Ahaspi from Maacah, Eliam, the son of Ahithophel from Gilo, Hezro from Carmel, Peri the Arbite, Igal, the son of Nathan from Zobah, Benai the Gadite, Zelak from Ammon, Naharai from Beeroth, who carried the weapons of Joab, the son of Zeruiah, Ira the Ithrite, Garab the Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite. There were 37 in all.